The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. A month has passed since that fateful day when everyone's world got all twisted, leaving them stranded in a castle in the sky. Since then, 2,000 poor souls came to an abrupt and tragic end. Some by bad luck, others by sheer stupidity. I mean, really, why would you just stand and fire? Anyways, that didn't bother the kid none. He only cared about one thing, and one thing alone, himself. Cause in a game of life or death, you either live, or you die. Oh wow, what brilliant insight. It's so deep, it loops right back around to being stupid. The kid ranted at no one, it slowly dawning just how alone he truly was. Wait, what was that? He asked the sky, like a preacher to his silent gods. What gods? What are you talking about? It's all bullshit metaphors with you. He cried, not knowing the difference between a simile and a metaphor. The tininess of his brain dwarfed only by the tininess of his dick. Narrator off. You can silence me, but you can't silence the truth. Hey everyone! Thank you all for coming to our little powwow. Now, I know many of you may be discouraged by the fact that 2,000 people have died so far. What?! 2,000 people are dead?! It hasn't even been a month yet! Oh my god! We really are fucked! And I know even more of you are a little down because we haven't even cleared the first floor yet. We haven't?! I thought we were almost done! Uh, you guys do know there are a hundred floors, right? What?! Oh jeez, I am just making things worse. Point is, we found the boss room! <gasps> Now, we formulated a few strategies with some help from the beta testers. Beta testers?! Oh, god damn it! Kibao, what do you want? Beta testers? They're the reason we're stuck in this game! What?! Do you have any evidence to back that up? <sighs> evidence? I don't need no evidence. Isn't that right, Jesus? It's pronounced Jesus, and I don't know you. Well, they still should have helped us newbies. If I might interject. And who the hell are you? I am known by many names. Mountain Slayer, Thunder Lion, the Chocolate Axe. But you, you may call me Tiffany. Tiffany, huh? That's a pretty masculine name. Shouldn't be. It's a woman's name. Okay, I don't know how to talk to you. Good, then you can shut up and listen. Does everyone here have this book in their inventory? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. No. Wait, can I change my answer? This book is full of tips and strategies on how to survive this game, put together by the beta testers. Everyone read it, yet some people still died. The beta testers did everything they could. Actually, I didn't read it. Yeah, I didn't read it either. I skimmed it. What? Didn't any of you read it? It is literally a matter of life and death. Well, dude, it's like 80 pages. 2,000 people are dead. They are? I am so done with you people. What do you mean, you people? So, as Mr. Thunder Chocolate was saying, this book has some great strategies, including how to beat the first boss, Ilfang. Ahem. <clears throat> so, as you enter the boss room, he's gonna throw wave after wave of disposable minions at you. And you must answer in kind? Uh, what? Send the weaker players first. Good rule of thumb. If a player asks you for gold two seconds after meeting you, front lines. Ha! <laughs> Serves them right. If they hijack conversations to rant about their political views, front lines. Oh shit. If they ask female players for pics of their boobs, front lines. Oh, bullshit! That's discrimination! Boo! Now, now, people, I think there are some valid points being made here. Now, it goes on to say when Ilfang's health goes into the red, he's going to switch from his axe and buckler to something called a tall war. At that point, we should initiate a strategy called the final solution, and I'm just gonna stop reading! Jesus, who wrote this thing? <laughs> okay, so the guide's a bust, but it'll be fine. I'll come up with a great plan for us. Like what? Well, we... Could... Uh, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Well, gosh, we could, we could, you know, like, group up and, and hit it till it dies! Woo, nice! Yeah. High five! That's a good start, but let's hear some other suggestions. I'd like to hear more about this final solution. Fuck it, group up. So... Why aren't uh, you joining anyone's group? I have my reasons. Is it because you're a girl? No, it's because I don't know how to play. Because you're a girl? No, it's just I don't know how to open the menu. What? But you can't do anything in this game without the menu. How have you survived all month? How do I eat you? It's been a 
challenge. What about you? Why haven't you joined the others? Oh, lots of reasons. Mostly because they're a bunch of mouth-breathing neckbeards who think LMAO is how French people laugh. Ha ha ha, that's so lamao. <sighs> wow, you certainly speak from the heart. Funny, I thought I was speaking from my mouth, but eh, sure's what I know about biology. No one else wanted you in their group, did they? Shut up, it was mutual! Alright, looks like everyone's grouped up. Get plenty of rest tonight, people. We leave at noon. Ugh, noon? That's so early. <sighs> Alright, what about one o'clock? One? Dude, come on. Oh god, fine. We leave at the crack of 2.30, I guess. Lazy butts. Christ, I'm gonna have to set my alarm. <laughs> Okay, so there were a few more stairs than we realized. Apparently real life athletic ability translates into the game. Good to know. Oh god, I can feel my lungs trying to kill me. Is this sweat? I feel a little. Jesus, this is sad. <laughs> Fuck it, why don't you all just take a Cheetos and Mountain Dew break and we'll reconvene in an hour. Damn it guys, I was kidding! You weren't actually supposed to take an hour! God, I've lost so much time! Let's just do this already! You all know the plan! <sighs> Alright men, form up in- EVERY MAN FOR HIMSELF! What? No! God damn it guys! Squad B, quit attacking the boss and keep setting those off us! C and D, stop attacking from the front! Do you even know what flank means? Squad F, for fuck's sake, stop playing for jewels! Oh, Squad G, get in there and help A and B! Got it! Don't talk back to- <sighs> Oh shit, really? Okay, Asuna, what you're gonna want to do here is- <laughs> Wow, I thought she was hopeless, but her technique is flawless. If I didn't know any better, I'd say she was even better than I. Kirito, I killed the thing and now it says I have XP's. Is that bad? Am I dying? Or... maybe not. Alright men, this last part's gonna take careful coordination! Which is why I'm just gonna do it myself! Oh shit! Diabo, look out! That's not a Talwar! It's an Odachi! What's the difference? Well, a Talwar is of Indian descent, while an Odachi is Japanese. While both are primarily slashing weapons, a Talwar was favored by cavalrymen, as opposed to an Odachi, which was mainly used for dick measuring. What's your point? Well, if you let me finish, I was getting to that. You see? Ah! Oops. Diabo! Drop. I was trying to say a Nodachi's a little bit longer than a Talwar, so it'll have more reach and do a bit more damage. And why couldn't you say that first? I like to think of myself as a teacher. Anyway, drink this. No, it's better this way. I just can't do it anymore. I had such high hopes at first, but now our best player is a girl who thinks DPS is some kind of sex thing. I know, it's weird, right? You're clearly not like the rest of them. How do you stand it, Kirito? Where do you draw your strength? I've been playing MMOs a long time, Diabo. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that lions do not concern themselves with the opinions of sheep. Just take that little voice in your head that tells you to be tactful and understanding, and shoot it. Shoot it in the goddamn face. You are so wise. If only I'd met you sooner, perhaps things would have been different. You must lead them now. Show them this game can be beaten. In another life. In another time. I think we could have been friends. I doubt it. Well, fuck you too! Alright, Kirito, here's what we'll do. One counters his blows to knock him off balance, and the other switches into attack. Rinse, repeat, victory. You came up with that, but you can't open a menu. Alright, so you counter and I'll attack. What? No! It's my plan! I should attack! Fine, just get ready. Ah! Switch! See, you almost got yourself killed. I'll attack him. Oh, that was a fluke and you know it. He's mine. He's mine. Mine. No, he's mine. Yeah. <sighs> Congratulations. That was even more impressive than that cat I learned to play. Oh my god! You guys can see it too? So I'm not crazy! Isn't that great, Jesus? That's right, Jeffrey. Now, kill them all. As you command, my lord. You've led us to victory, Kirito. These men and I will follow you to hell itself. Now, address your people. 
I always knew this day would come. Ahem. Fellow gamers, we have traveled far and up many stairs to get to this point, fighting side by side, noobs and leets alike. I'd like to take a moment to say that I couldn't have done it without the help of each and every one of you. Oh, that's a nice thing to say. Of course, I'm not a liar, so I'm not gonna say any of that. Oh, shit. I mean, really, I could have done this whole boss fight myself. But, to be fair, I guess it did absorb a bit of damage for me, which was nice. You were an adequate meat shield, and no one can ever take that away from you. Fuck, fuck, shut up, shut up! So, for those of you who came in late, and that one guy playing Bejewel back there, shoot for the stars. It'll make it more fun when I kick you back into the dirt. You're not better than us! My sweet-ass coat begs to differ. Damn it, he's got us there. Kirito, wait! I want half. I'm sorry, what? I want half the coat. I did half the work. I should get half the coat. No! It's not fabric I can cut. It's a bunch of ones and zeros. Fine, then give me the ones. Fuck you, I want the ones. Ugh, I am not having this argument. I'm dissolving this party. Kirito, if you walk away with my half of the coat, I will make your life a living hell! You know what? Fine, I'll give you the damn coat. Just send me a trade request. A what? Oh, it's quite simple, really. Just open your menu. <laughs> you The grossest things ever. Be warned. This is really gross, and some people might even find it scary. Girls. Ah! The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. To jump, you delightful Italian stereotype! Oh, hello! Didn't see you come in. I am Sir Jack Dapper. But of course you already knew that. It is my great honor today to introduce you to the Sword Art Online Christmas Extravaganza! A touching tale of whimsy, adventure, and the true meaning of friendship. So, I have my book, I have my bourbon. Gather round, children! Let's make some Christmas! This is the story of... The Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> Our magical journey began in... April, apparently. That's a bit odd. Guess we're going for a slow burn on this one. Oh well, I can dig it, as the kids would say. Our story began at the local davening hole, where our hero, Kirito, had just made some new friends. Or homies, if you will. I'll stop now. To Kirito! Who are you people, and why are you at my table? Ah, oh, Kirito. Can I call you Kirito? No. Here's the thing, Kirito. I couldn't help but noticing while I was rifling through your character page... I thought I had that set to private. ...that you are not associated with any guilds. So the crew and I... I call them the crew, by the way. We're thinking that you should join our guild. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Am I really worthy to join these awesome dudes? I've literally never thought that about anyone. But let me assure you, we could certainly use someone with your... Assets. Ugh. Hey, hey, my eyes are down here. <laughs> right, right. So what do you say, Key? Can I call you Key? God, no! Mm, I see. And what if I put on this hat? Oh, don't be ridiculous. What the hell am I signing? To the newest member of the Moonlit Black Cats, Takirito! Damn it! So let me introduce you to the crew. I call them the crew, by the way. So I've heard. This here is Sachi. And, uh, the rest are NPCs. Wait, what? Yeah, they're all companions from different quests. They help you fight, and as long as you never finish, they stay with you. We must save my family! The bandits are coming! Um, is that important? Nah, it's just part of the quest. They say that, like, every four seconds. Always remember to jump, jump! And, uh, he's from the tutorial. It's not a good tutorial. Winners don't use drugs, except steroids. In which case, use lots of drugs. Wait, so you never finished the tutorial? Hey, just because I can't play the game doesn't mean I can't play the game, wink. I feel like you don't know how winking works. Th 
Thank you for joining our guild, Mr. Kir 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 Kirito. Sweet merciful Buddha, what the fuck? Now, now, don't panic. Sachi just lives out in the boonies, so her internet connection is kinda shit. <laughs> oh god, it's spreading! <laughs> Grab the women and children! Yeah, we're using a shield! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what shenanigans. Four people died in that fire. But from the ashes sprouted a powerful friendship. And in time, Kirito found that he could almost tolerate them. Much like a fat man tolerates the tapeworms in his intestines. And like those tapeworms, that guild burrowed deep into his innards and gorged themselves on his leftovers until they began causing abdominal pain and diarrhea. I realize the metaphor's breaking down a bit here, but Granny Dapper didn't raise no quitters. In any case, things were about to change for young Kirito as he learned one fateful night. Sachi kinda ran off and we don't know where she went. Could you be a pal and track her down? I'd look for her myself, but the NPCs are sorta blocking the door and I can't get out. We must save my family! Move! <sighs> Listen, buddy, I'm gonna need your help sooner rather than later. I'm starting to think this is a two-man job. You've been playing for... 4,608. Hours! Maybe you should take a break! I would if I could, Mom! But that's not really an option now, is it? Now he's clipping through the wall. This is just perfect. Ah. So yeah, if you could take care of that for me, that'd be great. Yeah, good luck with that, Kata. It's my day off. And because I know it's your day off, I went ahead and included a little motivation. Right. Kata, when have you ever had anything I- I hate that goddamn hat! Yo, Sachi. Kata said you ran off or- Jesus Christ, what's wrong with your eyes?! What?! Oh, right. Detective mode. One sec. <laughs> oh, that's brisk. Is it supposed to hurt like that? I don't think so. Unless the game is developed by a sadist. Well... Yeah, I heard it. So anyway, I figure I got about, oh, five minutes before I black out from the pain. So, Princess, why'd you run off? Because I'm terrified my leg is going to get me and everyone I love killed. Well, shit, I don't know how to mock that. Oh god, that's never happened before! Well, maybe this is something you don't need to mock. Uh, <laughs> okay. But then what's the point of other people if not to mock them? You know, I'm starting to see why people think you're an asshole. People think I'm an asshole?! And so they talked all through the night, and slowly, Kirito began to see the error of his ways. If that seems like a cop out to you, congratulations! You get a cookie. Wow, Sachi, you've really opened my eyes. I've been such a jerk. Well, no more. You're looking at a whole new Kirito. From now on, I'm gonna be nicer and show people the compassion they deserve. So, can we talk about my problems now? Ugh, no one cares. Oh. Hey, I thought you said you were gonna black out from the pain. Oh, yeah. Guess I'm just a lot tougher than a th- Hey, crew. I know you guys have been working really hard and I've got some good news. And? Uh, and some bad news. The good news is we're in debt to the mob! No, wait, that's the bad news. Also, there's no good news. There's a mob in this game? Uh, yeah, I may have promised some, let's say, unsavory individuals that I could duplicate their rare item. And, well, it turns out that got patched. So, then why don't you just give back their item? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I kinda sold it, and now... The bandits are coming! Precisely! But the Don says all will be forgiven if we replace the item. Well, okay, that doesn't sound too... Here's the thing. There it is. It only drops on the 20th. Seventh floor. Is that a problem? Well, uh, let me put it this way. Take the most horrific, awful thing you can think of and multiply it by cancer. But you'll do fine. You've got Kirito, and he's practically carrying this crew. Practically? Kirito! I'm sorry. So, on that note, what do you guys think? Well, no offense, but that's the most... Probably fine idea I've ever heard. That's a weird way to phrase that. Don't push me on this. All right, so we got us a game plan. Wait, you didn't say what you're doing in all this. Well, the thing about that is, later. We really need to take that ad away from him. God, we've been looking for hours. Where is this stupid thing supposed to drop anyway? Uh, Kirito, did Kata even tell us which item we're looking for? Son of a- We must save my family! Oh wow, a single chest in an empty room. Yeah, this looks legit. Come on guys, even we're not dumb enough to fall for this. 
Sachi, you set them to auto loot, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it would save time. Oh yeah, we're sprinting to our deaths at record speed! Well, it might not be a trap. Maybe we just want a prize or something. Deploying slaughter knots and murder golems. Oh wow, slaughter knots and murder golems? It must be my birthday! I thought you were gonna be nicer. Baby steps! It's okay, we'll just grab one of the Tilbur crystals from Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? We must save my family! That was scary. Of course it was! No, 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 it's fine! Charlie's got a bunch of health potions! Which one's Charlie? Never mind, I got it! Well, we still... Oh, God, stop! Look, we're just gonna have to fight our way out! Okay, I'm scared, but I trust you. Do, 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 do. Sachi, no! Kirito, this isn't your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Well, that was grim. But as with all things, there is always a silver lining. For you see, Kirito still had one friend left with whom he could share his grief. Kata! Yeah! Da, 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 Christmas! Yay! Christmas! No one kills themselves on Christmas! <laughs> Christ, I need more bourbon. They say that Santa Claus will appear beneath a certain fir tree tonight and grant whoever finds him an item that will give anyone a Merry Christmas. Now that'll be 200 gold. Oi! Oi, where are you going? Get back here! Balls? My, My name, name is, is Klein. Klein! That was unsettling. What the hell was that? I correct people so often, they think it's how I say hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, no kidding! So what are you doing out here? Yeah, I've been having this weird pain in my chest. I was hoping this rare item might be able to fix it. Well, that's strange. What do you think caused it? Well, I suppose it started right after I watched my entire guild get slaughtered. But I mean, I didn't take any damage, so that can't be it. Oh my god! Scary though, as the sole survivor of the Midnight Black Cats, the debt naturally falls to you. The Don sends his regards. Well, as many questions as this raises, I'm gonna keep this brief. Kirito, you're not injured. You're sad that all your friends died. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, big shock, you friggin' sociopath. Look, I've heard rumors that item might be able to res players. It's a long shot, but you owe it to yourself to try. Go on ahead. We'll hold them off. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you, Klein. <laughs> hey boss, who's Klein? Don't ruin this for me! And there, under that frosted fir tree, Kirito spotted the big man himself, streaking through the snowy sky on a sleigh full of Christmas cheer. The patron saint of prostitutes! Look it up. Old Saint Nick. What the fu- Kirito, how'd it go? Did you win? Does this look like the face of victory to you? You didn't get it? Oh, I got it. It's a hat. It's a goddamn hat. Well, what do you want to do with it? Wear it? Poop in it? I don't really care anymore. But I do suppose I should thank you. You made me realize that by being nice and letting people in, they'll just die. But even still, thank you for showing me that there's still a part of me that can feel like this. Because now that I know where to find it, I've killed it forever. So thank you. Thank you for freeing me. Balls. No. No. You were so close. You were almost a person. You were so close! And so they say, Kirito's heart grew three sizes that day, then immediately shrank six, imploding into a black hole from which no love could escape. The end. Oh, I'm sorry, were you expecting a happy ending? Well, I'm afraid the world doesn't work that way, bucko! The only thing you can hope for in life is that you make enough money to fill the void left behind by the woman you love when she takes your children to some island in Tahiti with a cabana boy half a fucking age. Well, look at me now, you harlot! I'm still alone with all my money. God, I'm alone. So alone. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh god, it's 
in the Persian rug. <laughs>
own. I believe I made myself clear about my number of fucks and willingness to give them. Silica? Oh my god, how are you? I'm fine. And where's your little dragon friend? Pina died. Oh, that's too bad. Did you at least manage to make some good pants out of her? No! <sighs> Such a waste. She's right, you know. Dragon leather is surprisingly comfortable. Kirito! That's not funny! I'm gonna get that item and revive her for sure! Oh, Kirito, is it? Are you her new teammate? That's adorable! It's so nice to see Silica found someone on her level. <laughs> what? Oh, no, no! It's cute! I love the whole tough guy persona you've got going on there. Very convincing. I'm sure you'll have no problem clearing the Hill of Memories. Actually, Kirito said he's not- Come on, Saga. We've got a hamster to save. You mean you're gonna help me? Yay! Operation Save Penas, go! So, uh, hey, uh, random question. Uh, you didn't hear anything weird last night. Did you? Uh... Oh no! Definitely not! I'm like a super heavy sleeper, so... <laughs> good! Good! <clears throat> yeah, sleep is... Sleep is good. So... Who's Sachi? I knew it! Ah! Kirito, don't look at my skirt! Um, I think you have more pressing concerns. <laughs> what do I do? Just stay calm. You already have everything you need to beat it. The power to believe in myself? No, a knife! Stab it! Yeah, maybe you should stick behind me. You're so low level, you're aggroing everything in this place. Oh, don't worry about me, Kirito. I can take care of myself. <sighs> this is gonna be my whole day, isn't it? Kirito, look! There it is! Alright, one down. Yeah, wait. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we're gonna need like 50 more of these suckers. Then we trade them back in town for a gem, which we give to this gatekeeper so that it'll let us into another dungeon where we fight a series of bosses to get the real flower. That's insane! Who decided a game this way? You don't play a lot of RPGs, do you? Man, I thought we were done after that seventh boss, but then BAM! There's number eight! I just... I just wanna go home. Wait, hold on, Silica. Do mine eyes deceive me? Tis the fabled word tree of Gamagorath! Font of human knowledge and devourer of souls. Quickly, child, we must spirit away before it. Oh my god, will you just come out already? Ah, your detection skill must be quite high for you to have known I was here. Rosalia? Oh my god, how are you? Oh god, wow, that's enough of that. Jesus, how do you put up that act all day? Oh, so you saw through me, did you? You're quite a clever boy to have figured out that I'm actually the leader of Titan's Hand. <laughs> Titan's hand? Wow, I thought you might be someone dangerous like Laughing Coffin. Never even heard of you. Laugh all you like. We're still one of the most feared orange guilds on the lower floors. Ooh, impressive. You can frighten players that think slimes are terrifying. Have you seen their eyes? They have no souls! Ah, uh, so quick with the snark. Of course, that's all you really have going on, isn't it? A witty retort to distract everyone from what you really are. A sad, lonely little boy with no one who loves him. Someone so dead inside, he'd use a child as bait to lure me out. Mr. Kirito would never do something so horrible. Nah, she's right, I totally did that. What? And to top it all off, you play the tough guy. This invincible warrior you can never hope to be in the real world. Getting stuck in this game was probably the best thing to ever happen to you. But there's one thing this game will never let you hide. The one thing that's haunted you your whole life that you can never escape. You sound like a girl. <laughs> what? No, I don't sound like a girl. That's crazy! That's crazy! <laughs> Well, it looks like my work here is done. I do so enjoy our chats, but I really must be off. We'll be taking the Numa flower now, if you don't mind. Really? Little old you is going to take it from us? That'd be a neat trick! Indeed, but a magician is nothing without her lovely assistance. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Kirito! There's so many of them! I'll back you up! Ah, oh, that's adorable. You think they're a threat? 
no, you just sit tight. Show's about to start. Careful, though. The first three rows are a splash zone. What do you mean by that? <laughs> um, boss, a, a thought occurs. This guy thought he was going up against Laughing Coffin, but he still just brought himself and a small child. You sure we want to mess with this guy? Please, the boys all talk. And now that I've broken him, he's not even that anymore. He's nothing but a gibbering mess grasping at straws. Ooh, another one of your famous theories. Tell you what, I'll give you the first shot. See how that goes. Boss, I think this might be a trap. Enough! You're all level 45, and there's seven of you. I think you've got this. Now kill him! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Man, you guys are out of shape. Really ought to do some cardio. What are you idiots doing? Quit screwing around and finish him! I don't understand! We threw everything we had at him! How is he still standing? How? Well, it's quite simple, really. You see, girly, you may think you got me all figured out, but there's one thing you didn't account for. My numbers are bigger than yours. Funny thing, really. Get to a high enough level and you're basically untouchable. My wounds heal faster than you can make them. We could do this all day and you would not be any closer to beating me. Not that it wouldn't be fun. But I've got good news. You see, there's no need to wonder where your god is. Because he's right here. And he's fresh out of mercy. Well, way to prove my point, kid! Lording your stats over them like some kind of god! Your strength is nothing but an illusion to cover! Uh, uh, I'm getting real tired of your first year psych student bullshit. Enjoy this while you can. It's the deepest you'll ever be in a woman. Yeah, well, you're dead, so... Damn it! So... How are you doing? Fine. Why? Well, you did just kill someone. Doesn't that make you feel... something? Oh, feelings? Yeah, I don't have those anymore. Went cold turkey. What? You can't just do that? What's the point in living if you can't feel happiness, wonder, love? Or the sweet taste of revenge. You're right, Silica. What's the point in living if I can't enjoy such simple things? Ugh, close enough. You're a good friend, Silica. We should go on more adventures. Um... I don't think so. Don't take this the wrong way, Mr. Kirito. I'm grateful for your help, but you're like the worst person I've ever met. Is that your big plan here, huh? Make me feel feelings so you can cut me down a peg? That cuts deep, kid. But I respect that. Yeah.